Hey, 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 brothers and sisters of light and dark, Alpha and Omega, demigods, Archeons, beam me up, Scotties. Well, in this video, a little while ago, I was watching some YouTube videos about um sex trafficking and the universe itself, order and peace and balance, and. I come to the conclusion to make everything very simple for you so you can understand. I, tr I try to do my best to use common sense to go to be a historian to tell you certain things of great history and ancient history. But let me, in this video, I'm going to talk about certain subjects. Let me see. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the reasons why women are married off without their consent. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about a various amount of things within that subject. Okay. Um, keeping ordering, keeping order in, in the world by enforcing peace. And I'm also going to talk about um, my views of the murder rate of the races and racism. Okay. Uh, basically, um, first I'm going to talk about keeping order by enforcing the peace. Um, sometimes you may have to do the obscure just to keep peace and order. We are more animalistic creatures. And so... This is connected to why women are married off early without their consent is because um, it's a form of nature. It's a form of the lion choosing his mates. Okay? And though I do not consent, depending on the age of a female, these, these children, these female daughters must be taught at a very young age what their true purpose is. The true purpose is not to go out there experimenting with all different types of men. That's not the balance. That's not the way of balance. Okay? The true way of balance is to be peaceful and to keep men happy, okay? So, it's totally alright for a man to have multiple women. It's totally alright back to, to talk to even girls who are like 10 years old. Especially back in ancient times was like that. Though I do not agree with it. I think it's, it, the age should be at least about 17, okay? Or when they reach puberty, okay? When they start to bleed, okay? So, during that time, that's the time you have to start teaching your young daughters of what that is down there, okay? That's a special, that's that. That's called the, the, the forbidden tree, the, the forbidden fruit, okay? And a woman's, per, a, a, the whole purpose of a woman is to reproduce, to make the man happy, and to be productive, okay? Now, I know y'all women may be disagreeing with me with this all the way, but if you're a woman with masculine traits, then that's different. You can fight your own way. If, if, if my daughter says, Hey, you don't want to be married? That's fine. That see, that's that's the point. The choice. But you ha you should take the, you should take the feminine side and try to keep balancing her. If you become a man, that causes prostitution and all sorts of things happen, babies. Okay, this is use common sense. If you want to be a man and you're a woman, and you want to be like a man, because a lot of men are destructive, you know. And I think I don't think a woman can actually, you know, keep peace like a man can. Okay. I don't think that's possible, okay? Um, but that's my... You have to enforce some peaceful rules. Like the Muslims, they got it down packed, okay? I'm not going to go over it on 10 minutes. Don't worry about it. And, and, and I swear to you, they, they... When Elijah Muhammad did this by covering up the beauty of a woman, he got that from the Far East. That's Hindu belief system. And even in the Hindu belief system, it says the same thing over and over. I don't know the verses or anything, or Saras or whatever, or quadrants or whatever you want to call them. But I've read that if you don't keep balance, if the women are out of corrupted, the whole world will be mis misaligned, misarrayed. Okay, this is called disturbance of the peace. Okay, so I, I, I'm not totally for 13 year old girls getting married and, and children being sent off and stuff like that. That's because of irresponsibility. But it is the decision, the true decision, if that female wants to be alone or with a man. Okay, she has to know what that is down there. That's the gifts. You got to tell her what that is down there early. Tell her that not to give it to any old body, okay? Because if she does, she will get get a great consequence, okay? I don't I don't know what the consequence it should be, but the Muslim people to totally takes it out of it. The, they take it to another level, baby. When a woman does something off with her head, okay? So um, keeping order by enforcing the peace is very important for balance. <clears throat> the re reason why women are married off because it's ancient. That's old. That's what men used to do. It's grab the woman's hair, and, but then they say, okay, we're going to make it more organized and shit. And also, if it, 
if, if the women are making their own decisions, uh, crime goes up, sexuality goes up, materialism goes up, this is automatic. Pornography goes up, prostitution goes up. This is the connection in which nature, nature is broken. The proper age for marriage is the decision when she hits puberty. When she leaves that house, she should be married to a proper man who can support her, your daughter. That's why you must protect your daughter at all costs. And also can help you can, as a whole family, okay? Okay, so that's enough about that, okay? So if you do more research, you'll find in ancient times, men controlled the women. Because we are all animals, okay? So if I see my daughter, she's getting puberty, I'm going to talk to her about it. Say, this is your sexuality. You decide where you want to go. You want to more corrupt the world by choosing your own decisions, to, by trying to be like a man? Because most men are corruptive and very destructive. And I highly doubt that a woman who's emotional will actually fix the world in the state it is now. Okay. It's a very corrupt world. Okay. You want to have love. You want to share love. You want to be a prostitute. Okay. Or you want to be with man, one man. Okay. So let's see. Let's talk about something else now. Um... See, my views on the murder rates, okay? The murder rates is basically, you know, the white man has strategically placed the minority, which is majority black, okay, in small pockets, in which I've seen so many videos, YouTubes, and it's just accurate to the T, and they'll, they'll even, you know, the white people will actually multiply by two that the crime rate is actually higher for blacks. Though I have seen blacks myself, I don't know about the white population. I don't know. I don't see it. And I talk to whites, they're more subtle and more nicer. So I am assuming most likely blacks are creating a lot of crime. Okay? They are creating much more. Probably more more crime than Mexicans, yes. And more than black whites. Okay. I see it all the time. Pop, 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 pop. I'm like, what the when I move into a white they but no. I don't hear pop, 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 pop. So something's wrong with that. I, 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 maybe there are killing. So that's why they're so cracking down on blacks because they're killing each other so much. So if most of them are in jail, we will have more peace. So the strategy is perfect. Let them kill each other off, okay? And I think that's a great strategy, don't you think? Okay, bad people, ignorant people, there's poor white people. But if I go in their hoods, I don't hear pop, 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 pop. Maybe in the Mexican area because they're almost close to right, related to blacks, okay? I'm not a racist, okay? I'm just using common sense. You go into a Hispanic neighborhood, you will die. Okay. You go into a black neighborhood, you will get shot. I swear to you, man. Hispanics, blacks. You go into a white neighborhood, you don't see that shit. So, majority, the statistics may be right. They are more, much like killing each other. Now, when a black person and a white person create the same crimes, yeah, there's some racism. A white person might get a pat on the back because they might get a chance. But a black person might not get another chance. Okay. But if you go into a court of law, Sophisticated, they'll probably give you a pat on the back. Okay. Now, what else I said? Um, what else did I say about? Uh, I, I, I talked about three things. So, thank you for listening to my videos, brothers and sisters. So, understand common sense. Why women are married off early because it's really old and ancient, and men need to keep order. Okay, Confucius said it best. You know, men walk on the right and women walk on the left. That causes wars. That causes a chain of event of wars. Then you got my views on murder. I think blacks do cause a little bit more crime because I see it, okay? I see white they carry drugs too. But when they go to jail, their own brothers is trying to get them out of jail. Okay, they got more money than blacks. Okay, blacks can't afford to go to jail. So stay your ass away from drugs. Okay, I'm not a racist. I see what common sense is. I live in black neighborhoods. I live near Hispanic neighborhoods. And all I hear is shootings, killings. Okay, I don't care about the educational rate. Where did I come from? I came from the same areas. Okay, and also keep in order by enforcing the peace. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Understand the common sense. Okay, I think blacks and whites should be separated so they can understand. Whites cause nuclear explosions and, and the Zulus let them kill each other too. Even though they don't fight that much. Okay? Like the white people will blow your ass up to keep them come. But thank you, brothers and sisters of light and dark archaeons. Beat me up, Scotty, alien beings, demigods, vampire, werewolves, and dragons. Peace and love. Peace.